Hello, I'm Damien Jones from H&H &H Classics and here to give you a brief review of yesterday's sale at the Imperial War Museum Duxford. We're breaking down today so things are a little bit frantic but not as busy as they were yesterday. It was a strong sale for us, we sold £2.4 million worth of cars and although the crowds in the room weren't as busy as they have been in the past, possibly because of the good weather, we were astounded to have over 600 registered bidders from more than 20 countries. So in terms of the East we had buyers in Singapore and Hong Kong, all the way through to North America, so Canada and USA in the West. It was a strong sale. The cover car, the 1969 Ferrari 365 GT that had been beautifully reconfigured and rebodied in the style of a 1950s 250 Testarossa pontoon fender sports racer, that's a mouthful, made basically top estimate, just short of £400,000. So that was some kind of tribute to the craftsmanship and the skill that had gone into that car. The other, one of the other highlights, the 1960 Jaguar XK150S 3.8 litre drop head, one of 69 built, found a new home, again that sold for a little over £165,000. Again a very luxurious, wonderful cruiser, the 1966 Mercedes-Benz 300 SE Cabriolet, again rare in right hand drive, one of 78 UK supplied cars, not long back from Australia which had preserved the metal, that has had quite a lot of Mark specialist attention from Nigel Cooper, that made just over £158,000. Although for many the star of the sale was Lot 1, the 1976 Jaguar XJC 4.2 Coupe that was being sold to benefit the Ukrainian humanitarian appeal. Now that car was very, very generously donated by Roy Hatfield and breaking all stereotypes about Yorkshiremen, it was also bought by a Yorkshireman and the end result was the best part of £40,000 going to those who need it most in Ukraine. So a big, big thank you to the seller Roy Hatfield, the buyer, and all those who participated in that no reserve sale for that cause. There were some beautifully restored vehicles on display. So one end from the pre-war, there was a 1937 MG SA Tickford drop head coupe. Now that was a lovely, lovely thing. That made over 65,000 with the buyer's premium, but it would have cost you an awful lot more than that to restore. It really was a jewel of a car. Equally brilliant or equally well polished and resplendent was the 1967 Ford Mustang 390 GT Fastback. Now that's the model that was popularized by Steve McQueen in the film Bullet. They've got a following, they've got an enormous amount of road presence. And this particular example again was beautiful. It made 63,000 pounds. It's probably still here, aircraft and various vehicles in the background, but at the other end of the spectrum was the 1926 Rolls-Royce 20 horsepower fixed head cabriolet. And that was a car that had been in the current family ownership for 51 years. It had been used for Boxing Day picnics pretty much every year. It was substantially original in terms of the paintwork. It had been owned by a prince in its past life. It had spent 20 years in Kenya, been brought back to the UK by Colin Crabb. And that was, there was a bidding contest between a uh, relative of the original owner uh, and um, a couple of other enthusiasts. And again, that made about £27,000 on the hammer, so a bit over 30000 with the buyer's premium. It was a good result. So overall, very pleasing. The weather's helped. It's been gorgeous here for the last few days. The outdoor marquee was wonderful. Huge number of compliments from those in attendance at the show and the layout and all that sort of thing. And we can't wait to be back here on October the 19th. We've already got a wonderful Bentley 3 litre speed model that's been in the current family ownership for 82 years as an early highlight for that sale with plenty more in the pipeline. Or for those of you who want to travel north, our next sale will be on July the 27th at the Pavilion Gardens Buxton. We very much hope you can join us at some stage in the future, be that in person, online or on the phone. Thank you.